beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Abiola. thank you for stopping by today and if it's your first time on my channel please do not make it your last time do well to like my videos watch the previous videos comment and share with your friends and family to my returning subscribers you guys are amazing i see what you do i see the love thank you for the support and i love you so today is for you it's for me and it's for everyone coming to the uk this year next year or whenever because you need to know what to do when you get into the uk you don't want to be stranded you don't want to be asking silly questions you want to know where you are going to and you want to follow who no road you know <laughs> follow who no road now it will help you be that too don't let everyone know that you're a jjc that's why i'm here for you that's why you're my subscriber and that's why you're watching this video so it is time for you to follow who no road and i think i know the road <laughs> Let's get right into the things that you need to do when you arrive into the UK. Number one thing you need to do is sort your accommodation. This might sound like a cliche, like, okay, everybody will be talking about it, sort your accommodation, blah, 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 until when you get into the UK, before you want to sort your accommodation. Please don't do that. Do not do that. Do you want to stay with your family or do you want to stay with a friend? Ensure you tell them that you are coming to put up with them maybe for two days or three days before you go to your apartment. And if you plan on staying Airbnb, ensure you book the Airbnb before you arrive into the UK. It will not be nice for you to be stranded in this country, especially when the weather is very chilly. So make plans on where you are going to stay. I'm going to be sharing with you four websites where you can get your accommodation before you arrive in the uk or even when you are in the uk number one is zoopla on zoopla you can search for shared accommodation you can share the apartment rather you can also search for studio you can search for one bed or two bed apartments all of those things are on zoopla.com number two is on the market www on the market i'm going to put the website on the screen right now for you to see you can also search for shared accommodation you can search for any type of accommodation you are looking for, it's on the market. Three is open rent. All you need to do is filter for the location, filter for the, the amount, your budget, filter for the kind of apartment you are looking for, maybe a one bed or a two bed. Just put it on the filter bar and then it's going to drop down everything that they have on that site for you. Number four is right move. You can search for both shared accommodation and maybe a flat for yourself and your family if you are coming with your family. Also, as a student, you can talk to your school about accommodation. There are loads of student accommodation around your university. So, if you intend staying in the student accommodation or in a student apartment, rather, ensure that you inform the school so that they can book a space for you. And also, this student accommodation gets filled up on time. If you don't book a space on time, it might get filled up and then you might start looking for where to stay. But if you're coming this September or you're coming January, whenever it is you're coming, ensure that you sort your accommodation first. It should be the number one thing on your list. So now that you're in the UK, ensure you get your BRP. BRP is Biometric Resident Permit. It's, I'm going to put the picture of what it looks like on the screen. Ensure you get your BRP within 10 days of your arrival in the UK. Because if you do not get it within 10 days of your arrival in the UK, you might be charged for it, you might pay a fine for it, and sometimes in some cases, your visa might be cancelled. So ensure that when you get into the UK, 10 days within your arrival, get your biometric resident permit. Number three thing you need to do is for you to get your student ID card. Now, to get your student ID card, you must have gotten your BRP. So when you are going to your admin office or you are going to your student corner in your university, whatsoever they call it, ensure that you go with your BRP card and go with your passport. Now, your student ID card is for you and it's very important because there are lots and lots of discounts that you can get using that ID card. So, make sure that as you are getting to the UK, you are making plans of getting your ID card. Number four is for you to get a SIM card. I would say this, do not be in a hurry to get a SIM card. Oh, some people will be like, oh, buy the SIM card from the airport and um, buy the SIM card, blah, blah, blah. Do not be in a hurry to get the SIM card. And I'm sharing this from my own experience. I don't know where you are going to or even if you know, you have not tested the network coverage of the area so you have opportunity of the first two days ask people around oh one network is very good your yeah, one network is very fast here yeah. 
and then you can go for that one do not be like me because i went for a network because they are popular and i'm not going to mention the name of the network but the network is not so strong in my house so ensure that you ask people around where you live or i mean the area where you live you can also search online to see if the network you intend buying is very good in your area number five is for you to open a bank account opening a bank account in the uk is quite easy and seamless all you need is your id card you need your brp you need your proof of address and you need your passport now you have the option of opening an account with either a digital bank or a traditional bank digital banks are the banks without physical office while traditional banks they have physical office where you can go in and tra transact with them however you can open your account on the phone either a digital bank account or with other banks you can open your account on the phone i use revolut bank as a digital bank account i'm going to drop a link below where you can just click and then open your account it is very easy use my referral link so ensure you open a bank account it is very important if you intend working in the uk you need to apply for your ni number that is your national insurance number this number is for you it is for you to make contribution to your tax and to your insurance in the uk so if you intend working in the uk ensure that you apply for your ni i'm going to be dropping the link to the application on the screen so ensure that you apply when you get into the UK, not when you are still in your own country. Once you have your NI number, what is stopping you from applying for jobs? What exactly is stopping you from applying for, for jobs? Start applying for jobs like right away. Like right away. Don't even, don't allow anybody to tell you that it's too early. When did you get into the UK? Start applying for job. Immediately you get your NI number. Now, if you are here to watch my video where I talked about getting sponsorship jobs and all of that, that video is also important for students. Even if you are not looking for a sponsored job yet, if you are not looking for a tier 2 visa yet, those sites will get you student jobs. Remember that as a student, you, are, you ought to work for 20 hours. Those sites has lots of part-time jobs for students and for dependents as well. So I'm going to link it here for you to see again. Ensure you watch it if you have not watched the video. Number eight thing is for you to register with a GP. Some say you should register with a GP very close to your school. I don't see the reason why you should do that. Register with a GP that is close to your house in case anything happens. May we not be sick. <laughs> but in case anything happens, they, might, they will be close by to come to your aid. So register with a GP close to your house. All you need to do is to type in on your Google, GP close to wherever you stay and then you have options to register with any gp of your choice you register online and you'll get your nhs number days after your registration number nine thing is for you to go to school get your timetable know your departments know your classrooms ensure that you get to talk to your lecturers if you find them talk to them ask if there is a whatsapp class ask if there is a group a skype group get your email address as a student get all your details and be involved be involved in the school activities go for your orientation programs go for your seminars all these things will help you settle in really fast because they'll be spilling some information that will be necessary for your settling in fast first thing you need to do as a student in the uk is for you to download necessary apps as a student some of this application will help you get lots of discount like i said earlier and you don't want to miss the discount as a student so if you are here to watch my video on the applications you need as a student in the uk i'm going to drop the link for you click on the video mention like 10 applications you, you need as a student ensure you download these applications and it will really help you as a student lastly from me to you is that do not be distracted do not be distracted a lot of things might be a distraction to you when you get into the uk and then you feel like oh this is what i've always prayed for this is what i've always wanted i'm in the uk now and you forget about your motive of coming here do not be distracted okay i know why you're watching this video you are either in the uk or you're coming tomorrow or you're coming next week or you're already in the uk and you're watching this video welcome 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 and i wish you the very best i love you and i'm going to see you in my next video Bye bye